with diabetes. I prick my fingers sometimes ten times a day. A tiny drop of blood blossoms and wicks its way into my meter. Every three months I go to have my blood drawn. Like a soothsayer reading entrails, they foretell my future with blood. Sticking myself isn't nearly as bad as waiting for someone else to stick me. Years of bad blood draws have left scar tissue on the veins of both arms and on my psyche, making it harder to draw blood each time. To relax, I watch power shows and I dream. You're here to have your blood drawn. <laughs> uh, yes. Where's the other guy? You would prefer him? Uh, actually, no. He couldn't seem to find a vein. He kept going back and forth from my right arm to my left, stabbing, poking, jabbing, digging. Finally, after several tries, he managed to get something out of a while. By the time I got out of there, I looked like I'd been mugged. Then the lab says, I have high levels of potassium in my blood. It could be kidney failure or just a false positive. So I'm back. Don't worry. I'm the best. That's what he said. I've done this for many years. Yeah, well, so have I, and now I've got lousy veins. You have beautiful veins. So delicate and lovely. So sweet. You are diabetic? Yes, yes. How, how could you tell? Fear raises the blood sugar and causes the veins to become timid. <coughs> Relax. You have nothing to fear. I will find the blood. I always do. People used to think I was diabetic. We have the same dark, haunted eyes, the same pale skin, the same lovely smile. Are you sure you're not diabetic? A different metabolic syndrome, but similar. <laughs> if we don't get what we need by artificial means, which others consider evil and disgusting, we turn into barely animated corpses who may slowly crumble into the grave. They think of us as the damned, but we both may seem to rise from the dead. Yes, there, all done. Wow, you managed to get a lot of blood. You know, I thought of something else we have in common. Most don't think that we exist. I I'm not type 1, but I'm not type 2. Most can't figure me out. But here at the clinic, things are good, no? Not, not, not always. I, I mean, my doctor and my, my CDE, they, they seem to know their stuff and, and they're willing to learn, but, but others? I don't fit in the right box. I'm a freak, a monster. We are not the monsters. People who want to hurt you because they think that's their job. People who think that you deserve to suffer. Those are the monsters, not us. No one should hurt you. And if they do, scream and run. See you in three months. Chicago, right across the river from the Loop. Four 
four times a day I would pass the bank on the corner. And one Friday, as I was coming back from lunch, I noticed yellow police tape across the entrance. I asked someone what had happened, and they said a man had walked out of the bank building, and high above, a window washer dropped something. It hit the man, and he died, just like that. My dad used to say, it's the height of ego to think that you can control everything in your life. I'm not saying don't be responsible. You need to be aware of what's going on. You need to look at the numbers and eat well, move, live the best you can, but stuff happens. You try and fix what you can, when you can, but sometimes you can't fix everything. You can't anticipate everything and hiding and blaming. Don't I have to go fix this. <laughs>